One, two, three, enter. You push the right pedal, cushion the landing, and onto the ground you go. Hey, we're gonna get right back to that clip and show you why we want to slow hover, skid straight, parallel, and also I want you to understand the difference between air taxi and hover taxi. And sometimes people even in a tower don't understand that. So we're gonna take you back to that video, let you see the full vet video, hover taxi and air taxi. This video is one of 12 brand new videos inside Private Pilot with more coming. Every single flying video inside Private Pilot's getting a fresh video. You can go down below, take the 24 hour test flight for Private Pilot, take, see all the videos that have shot so far along with all the new ones coming in. So right back here, I want to mention Hogs Wall of Fame. These are our members. If you're new to Hogs, there's over 300 people now in the Hogs Wall of Fame. That's private, instrument, commercial, and CFI. All members have passed our courses. So we're going to roll the video. At the end, I'm going to tell you how you can get one of these for your flight school, a no-go, but Hogs no-go button, and how you can get private pilot study guide. We'll come back at the end. Go ahead and roll that video, Heather. Okay, we're going to demonstrate a hover taxi. And a lot of people get confused between hover taxi and air taxi. Hover taxi is what we're going to show you. Forward cyclic. I'm going to use my pedals to keep parallel with that yellow line. Cyclic to control the speed. And we want the speed of a brisk walk. And the book says three to five feet skid clearance. A lot of us cheat down to more like two or three feet. This is a proper hover taxi. What people do is they get in a hurry at times and they get going too fast, which isn't a big problem if you're into the wind. But if they've got a tailwind, the faster you go, the more squirrely it's gonna get. So I'm gonna turn around here, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna do it the other direction. Now we're gonna have a tailwind. Winds directly out of the south, I'm gonna be facing north, and I should be a little less uh, stable going this way. Not sure how the camera will show it. But now the wind's behind me, so when I'm hover taxiing this way, yeah, you can see it. I'm pushing left pedal, right pedal, left pedal, right pedal, because that wind is coming into the tail rotor, and we're getting that weather vaning effect, and the tail wants to go left and right. So it's a little bit harder going this direction when the wind's behind you. And if you start going faster, then you keep moving into that disturbed air, and it gets worse. So getting in the habit from the very beginning to use the speed of a brisk walk helps you keep it under control when you get the wind behind you. Now, the other thing that we preach is keeping the nose straight. And a lot of times people want to cheat. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the nose this way. And for, let's say, because of the wind, somebody wants to hover taxi like this. They'll go, a student will go, well, I'm just going to do this so I can be pointed into the wind with my nose pointed into the wind, right? There's a problem with that, and I'm going to show you. Problem is, what if the engine quits? What's gonna happen? You're gonna dig that skid into the pavement and you're possibly gonna roll that helicopter over. So I'm gonna back up here a little bit and we're gonna do a hover auto. We're gonna simulate the engine quitting and why you want the nose to be straight. So we're gonna stabilize hover going here. We're just gonna start moving forward. So again, if you're always going slow, staying close to the ground, staying on top of those pedals, when the engine quits, one, two, three, enter. You push the right pedal, cushion the landing, and onto the ground you go. That is the reason why we're always harping that we want you to go slow, staying low to the ground, stay on top of these pedals, moving forward is for that exact reason right there. It's in case the engine decides to quit on you. All right, so the next thing we're gonna show you an air taxi. I basically just do a normal takeoff and a normal landing. Some people like to do a normal takeoff and then turn it into a quick stop, which that's fine too. For my purposes, well, we'll do that. We'll, we'll do that. So let's say we want to get from here down to the other end of this taxiway that you see out ahead of us. So we want to get moving forward. We're going to get a little airspeed and altitude. No faster than 50, no higher than 100. And we're going to transition down there to the other end. And the other trick is you do not fly over persons or property on the surface. Get some altitude and airspeed. I think I said I'd do a quick stop. So let's, we're gonna go down here to this field and we're gonna do a quick stop. And one, two, three, quick stop. Half cyclic, a little bit of right pedal. 
Keep flaring, keep flaring, keep flaring, keep flaring, keep flaring. I'll level it out and down to the grass. That's just a short, simple air taxi. Could be used for longer distances, shorter distances, but again, you want to make sure that you do not overfly. Persons are properly on the surface, and a proper air taxi is no higher than 100 feet and no faster than 50. Live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com. Reach out to Heather. And flight schools that are sending us members, we already know because they members tell us that, hey, I heard from Straight Up Aviation or Lone Star Helicopters. So reach out to Heather. If you will display this in your flight school where pilots make weather decisions, students, pilots, that is, making a decision on whether to go or no go, go or no go, we'll send you. So email Heather at helicopterground.com. So hope you like that video. Plenty more to come. We're shooting videos daily right now, October 2023. Private Pilot Study Guide. If you want some real serious help, this thing is a badass. There's 400 questions that you could be asking here. And if I was going to a check ride tomorrow, I'd be going through this thing because examiners ask you the same stuff. What do you have to have on you? What do you got to be uh, do to be current at night? You know, category, class, all that stuff they hit you with immediately every single check ride. We'll put a link down for that down below. So, and el something else too, we have affiliate program now. If you're a flight instructor or a HOGS member or a student, we share 50% of the sales if you become an affiliate. We'll put a link down below for sign up on that. And if you're a flight school, we'll make you, we'll build your own webpage. So ABC Flight School in conjunction with Helicopter Land Ground School, it's all tracked. You can go in as an affiliate and you will see exactly what you're earning per month and we pay once per month. So you can check that out at the link below. So come back tomorrow for another flying video. Peace out.